Strengthening Sanctions, a deep dive. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore a phrase that often pops up in news articles, official statements, and discussions about international relations, strengthen sanctions. This concept might seem complex at first, but don't worry, we're going to break it down together. By the end of this video, you'll understand not only what it means but also how it applies to real-world situations. So, let's dive in. Before we can talk about strengthening them, we need to understand what sanctions are. In international affairs, sanctions are penalties imposed by one country, or a group of countries, on another country, individuals, or organizations. The purpose is to influence behavior by creating economic hardship or limiting social and political interactions. Sanctions can include trade barriers, tariffs, and restrictions on financial transactions. To strengthen sanctions means to make these penalties stricter or more severe. This can be done by increasing the scope of existing sanctions, adding new types of sanctions, or enhancing the enforcement of current measures. The goal is to increase pressure on the target to change their behavior or comply with international norms. Countries or international bodies may decide to strengthen sanctions for several reasons. It could be in response to the target's failure to comply with previously set demands or as a reaction to new, undesirable actions. Strengthening sanctions is a way to signal seriousness and escalate pressure without resorting to military action. It's a form of diplomatic strategy aiming to achieve specific objectives. Let's look at some examples to better understand how and why sanctions are strengthened. 1. Nuclear non-proliferation. If a country is suspected of developing nuclear weapons contrary to international agreements, sanctions may be imposed. If the country continues its development, the sanctions might be strengthened to include stricter financial restrictions and a broader ban on trade. 2. Human rights violations. In cases where a country or regime is involved in severe human rights abuses, initial sanctions may be intensified by targeting key individuals with travel bans and asset freezes, alongside wider economic sanctions. I hope this video has shed some light on what it means to strengthen sanctions and why it's a significant tool in international relations. Remember. The goal is always to encourage positive change and compliance with global standards, ideally without resorting to conflict. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more insights into the English language and its usage in our world today. See you in the next video.